Hello everybody, you're going to learn again. This is a continuation of video one, how to hack Windows XP. What you're going to do is you're going to go in your i386 folder under Win NT BBU DLL. And you're going to go down to 103 under bitmaps and you're going to learn how to change this here, which is the next setup window after you click on your your setup.executable on your CD for XP. And when you click on it, this is pre-hacked. This is the initial post hacks from the video before. And another blue window is supposed to show up, but I had changed that. And I'm going to teach you how to do that as well. Pretty much what I told you is how you do it, but I'm going to show you how to do it further. And make some very nice changes. And I put down here video by me. That concludes this part. Now also if you want to change this here, the upper part, what you're going to do is, let me close this up here, close this window here, if you go back up, I believe it to be, or down, no, go up to 102, yep, oh, sorry, you go to 102, you right click, you copy, you go to paint, you add it, you paste, make your changes, and you come back here, you go over back to 102, you right click, and replace the source to whatever the change is. Obviously you have saved it, whatever you, I didn't make one for this one, but you find the name of it, you hit open, it'll show the other one here, then you go and replace it, close, you go down to string table, go to something else, you know, this is so you can understand how to do it. Take out a letter, replace it, hit compile, script, hit save, go down to set up and do everything I did and you'll see your change is done. And that's how each change will resemble itself. I almost forgot to mention, it is not just the pictures, you can also, also change. You can also change the text as well. Let me try to show you exactly what I'm talking about here before I lose you people. Alright. Now when you click on these things and these windows start going down, the dynamic and prepared installation so on and so forth you're gonna see different text start coming down and scrolling well, for instance let's look for the word 60 to 90 with a hyphen okay let me close this down here what you're gonna do is you're gonna go over here to the resource section you think it's in under resource hacker and I believe it to be under string table I'm gonna go under here for under edit to find text and I'm gonna put in 60 hyphen 90 and find next okay it was not found up here so I'm gonna try looking up here under the bitmap section and I already know it ain't there icon version I'll get back to you on that now basically what that means is it is not here it's in another DLL so what I did was, is I went back and then I went to another DLL, which is not the BU, but it's at a 32A as an alpha. And I went over to the string table and I typed in, I'm sorry, I didn't type in anything, with the fine text 60 to 90. And that's how I was able to find that. Now I can edit that and I can change it to anything I want. You're going to notice that not one DLL is going to fix or I'm sorry, allow you to change everything. You need to do it in pieces. Just because it shows one whole window doesn't mean it's done in one DLL. It's done in multiple DLLs because of the stages on the left hand side that I pointed out before. So what I did was I changed it to something a little funny. If you're not catching it quick, you're not going to see it. Compile the script and I'm going to hit save. Because I already know it's going to save it as what it is and I don't need to back it up because I know what I'm doing here and what we're going to do is we're going to go over to the setup we're going to click on it and see the changes that I have concurred let's see under setup one install instead of saying I stand corrected here there is something I did wrong Going back on my correction there, there is another DLL that has the same thing. And that's the mistake I made, and I will 
stand corrected, but I will also try to find out why this happened so you guys can understand. But basically, keep in mind that more than one DLL will have the same thing in there, all right? And you have to change it twice because if there's a difference between the OEM and the retail. They're all going to be in here, even though it's for one kind of XP. So what I did was I made a light change here, slightly different than word before. So I'm going to hit compile script. And if there's any mistakes, you're going to see it. Save. Go back down. Oops, went too far. Back to the i386 folder. Hit back and hit setup and see if the changes have occurred. And sure enough, it has. Now, isn't that easy how to change the text? Very easy to do. After we mess with the setups, I'm going to show you later on how to make changes to the actual XP itself once it's installed on your system. Remember that window we, that we just closed? I'm going to make a change here and see if it applies in both cases, which it probably won't. Bye. <laughs> So what I did was I took a copy and I put it in paint, so I'm going to change this to blue and I inverted the colors on this side. Now I'm going to apply it to the one DLL and we'll go from there. Now I know I said that I was ending this video, but I am ending it right here. So after this point, I'm pretty much done with the editing. Now if you have any questions, feel free to comment below or just click my name and email me. If you have any requests or any changes in the videos that you want me to do in the next one, I'd be glad to help you because right now it's going in the direction of hacking XP starting from the setup. Alright, that's so what I'm doing is I'm closing this down. I made the changes already. I've already showed you how to make changes to, uh, to the bitmaps. So I'm going to click on a setup and see if this went through. Install Windows XP. And yep, sure enough, it worked. I wonder if it. Uh, this in the next window. Alright, so that only applies to that side. 